In our last video, we saw how we could rename cells using Excel names. In this workbook, notice how I've created the Excel names called hours and rate. In this demo, I'd like to multiply these two arrays together to populate my totals column. Now we could accomplish this by first calculating the total for the first row and extending it across the table. However, we can alternatively accomplish this using array formulas. If you're using Office 2010 to Office 2019, array formulas require first selecting the entire output range and then confirming the formula using Control shift enter on your keyboard. For that reason, they're commonly referred to as CSE formulas. In Office 365, any formula that can return multiple results will automatically spill down or across into neighboring cells when you press enter. Since I'm using Excel 2016, I'll be using the first option. So to see the total for each activity, I select cells E3 to E9. This is my anticipated output range. And then I'll enter the formula hours times rate. Now rather than pressing enter, I'll press control shift enter. And there you have it. 